This came to me one day when uh, I was having company, actually. Actually, it was my executive producer came over for dinner. So I thought to myself, what can we do? Let's have a nice, interesting dessert. So ricotta cheese was it. So for this, we need some pineapple. And I want to just cut the pineapple up into thick slices. Move this over for a minute here so you can see what's going on. And I've seen a lot of ricotta cheese being made in Italy on all my trips to Italy. It's a wonderful thing to watch. So get yourself a nice pineapple, peel and core it, and then slice it up into thick slices. And then you get out a bake sheet that's just been lightly greased with some olive oil or some butter. Put the slices on. Your oven's on at 350 because you're going to roast these. Then take a little honey and just brush some honey over the top of each of the slices. You want to watch this while it's in the oven because you're going to turn these over. You want to get a nice, just a tinge of brown on each of the uh, pineapple slices. So then once you cook it on this side for about 10 minutes, turn it over and do the other side. So there are our pineapple slices. They can go in the oven. I would say about 15 minutes or so. And when they come out, here's some we did earlier, they're going to look like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so now what do we do with that? Well, let's just move this aside for a minute and I'll show you. So we take that ricotta cheese again, which we have here, and now I'm going to add some confectioner's sugar. About three tablespoons will do it. Mix that in. And then I just went and took whatever I had in the pantry to make this dessert. So I had some dates. So we put in some chopped up dates. If you didn't have dates, you could use raisins, something else. I had beautiful pistachio nuts from Bronte, Sicily, but you could use any nut you want to. So we're going to put in some of the pistachio nuts. Mix that around. This gives a really nice texture to this. And then I added a nice citrus flavoring, which is this, Fiori di Sicilia. It's a very nice citrus orange lemon flavor. When you open the bottle, you think you've been transported to Sicily. So you add a little bit of that. If you didn't have that, you could use either a lemon extract. You could use a vanilla extract if you wanted to. And that's all there is to that. So now we have that. And I like to do this using a pastry bag. So I'm going to move this out of the way, show you what happens next. When you're using a pastry bag, and you can buy these in your grocery store, you can get them in a bake shop, they come like this. And sometimes people find that they're very awkward to use. But if you turn down the, the collar and put them in something that'll hold it, so you're not holding it in your hand and trying to fill, it's much easier. Then you can fill it, close the bag, and do whatever you want to do with it. So a pastry bag is a good thing to have. So we have one here already filled with our mixture. It's already in there. So how does this go together? Well, let me show you. I want to take a beautiful plate. And I'm going to stack these today. I'll put two slices of pineapple on top of each other. Just like that. I'm going to take this slice and put it here because I love the look of this one. And how about this one? And this one. Mm, mm, mm. This is really a great healthy snack. Let's put this aside. And now we have our mixture. So twist the bag and go right into the center of the pineapple. Isn't that beautiful? Who says dessert has to take forever or has to be complicated? This is so easy. If you wanted to, you could put a little mint sprig on top of this, but I just think that makes a really beautiful looking dessert. 